Using the same example from the molecular chemical equation thing, which was right here, we are going to get the complete ionic equation, which is when you just take all of the aqueous compounds in the molecular chemical equation and you break them apart. You can't break apart, apart solids, so they just stay in the compound form. All right, so, and you're supposed to show charges with these. You didn't have to in the molecular equation, but it helps. Okay, so first, it's going to be Zn plus 2 Aq plus 2 Cl negative 1 Aq. Okay, and that is for the very first compound up here. And for if you have a 2 as a subscript, you always put it as the coefficient for C, the element. Okay, now we're going to do 2AgNO3. And for this one, the 2 distributes to the Ag and then it goes to the NO3 also. So it's going to be plus 2Ag plus 1 Aq plus 2 NO3 negative 1 Aq. And that is for this one. one. This, these are for this second compound up here, the aqueous compound. So then I'm going to go down to the next line and draw my arrow. And we're moving on to the products. So it's going to be Zn plus 2 Aq plus 2. NO3 negative 1 AQ. This goes with this. Okay, and then the next one is solid. So you just write plus 2 AG plus 1 CL negative 1 S. It does not break apart because it is solid again. Okay, now we're going to do the net ionic equation. And that is when you take the solid and you put it in the product. So the solid is Ag, 2 AgCl. Okay. And you also show charges here. So it's going to be 2 Ag plus 1 Cl negative 1. And then solid. And I've written it like that because it's in the product. And now we have to take this and split those apart in the reactant and make them aqueous. So it'll be 2 Ag plus 1 Aq plus 2 Cl negative 1 Aq. See? Easy. That's how you do um, complete ionic equations and net ionic equations.